Well, hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're recording. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another day of the video. Darren, how's it going today? Today, we are, it's actually the afternoon. It's half past, well, it's nearly five o'clock at night, and we're heading on out in car. We're going for a road trip. We're going shopping. Um, we're going like crazy shopping, though. We're going three supermarkets shopping again. Um, because we need to find ourselves some deals. Um, I've got a relatively big shop where I need to get quite a lot of stuff in, and that's what we're doing. Uh, but what's been going on today? Today I woke up at a normal uh, weekend time, which is quite early. I got up at half past seven, I believe. Um, and I slowly got ready before. Um, I slowly got ready, sorted out a couple of things, wrote my to-do list and stuff for the day, um, sorted out my bins, had breakfast, bacon sandwich, which is delicious. And we were waiting for Lewis to come pick me up because we were going to go play some tennis today. Um, Lewis was picking me up at 11. The weather this morning was absolutely phenomenal. It was basically abroad. It's so hot. It's actually quite warm now as well. It just looks a bit murky. It doesn't look sunny. Um, so I hovered around a bit until we went to go play some tennis. Uh, then Lewis drove us to tennis for a change. Normally I drive, um, but I couldn't be bothered to drive and I need petrol. So um, I let him drive, um, which was nice. Having a drive down in his car, having a nice little chin wag. Um, talking about business and things and work and tennis, stuff like that, just little old things. Um, and then we went to go play some tennis on campus with old um, him and the other Lewis. Um, we played for about two hours, I believe. Um, I didn't win any games. Uh, I didn't win any matches, but I did win some games. So um, I was pretty proud of myself in some in some scenarios. I keep, I don't know what it is, my backhand is all over the shop. And um, something wrong with my forehand, I'm trying to figure out. I've got no idea what's wrong with my backhand. But my, something wrong with my forehand as well, and I'm not sure what that is um, as of yet. But then after that we went to go to Parade, which is like a, a restaurant bar thing on campus, um, which was nice. Had a burger each, we had just some some sneaky lunch. Are we going to go anytime soon? Happy days. Um, had a sneaky bit of lunch there. I bought uh, Lewis him a burger and a drink to pay for the petrol, so we had a completely free day. Free tennis, free bloody thingy. All he paid was petrol on the way down there. It's incredible. He was it's his bloody birthday, boys. And then we sat in parade bar and we were talking about a business plan that old Louis threw and thing he's working on. Um, I'm not a massive stakeholder in it. I'm potentially I've offered my time to them as a product manager slash tester to say a project, yeah. Um, in an attempt to help them keep organised or whatever. But um, yeah, we'll see. They're doing some research into it. To be honest with you, it could be a Freaking good money spinner. I'm talking a lot of money as well in it, which is good. Um, if they can do it. There's a couple of like stuff we've got to look into, which is why they need like a project manager to have time to do that kind of stuff. But we'll see. We'll see how that one goes. Um, then we came back. Oh, we, we drove a different way to Thingy. Ben, of Ben, of Um Commented on one of the videos when I went back to Bath. He said, "Why don't you go this way?" And I'm like, "God, why don't I go that way?" And I drove. I made. I directed Lewis down that way, and it was much quicker getting to get to the university. It completely dodged out the city centre, um, so you didn't get stuck in any traffic around there. It'll be interesting to see what that's like at rush hour, obviously, but we'll have to do a test run. You can't predict rush hour. It just depends if I've got another reason to go to Bath anytime soon. Uh, yeah, came back here about four, quickly had a shower, uh, got changed, and now we're heading on out shopping. I've written my shopping list and all that malarkey, and yeah, that's that really. We've got a big shopping list to do today, and there's a couple of things that will be cheaper, like depending on which store has the offers in, whether that's Asda or Tesco or Sainsbury's or what. Stay on indicator. Um, so yeah, that's what fucking indicator, man. <laughs> So that's what we're doing now, and I'm just going to find myself a car parking space and then I will go back into hand, hand mode instead of car cam. Bank holiday today, which is an annoying day to go shopping because you've got to go shopping at like stupid o'clock. Bloody seagulls, man. So I'm going shopping when it's much earlier and much busier than when I normally go. Um, but yeah, I do need to buy, price check a couple of things, figure out where it's cheapest, get it from there. Obviously people, places close early as well. I'm not sure about this one or the Asda, but Sainsbury's definitely closes at 7, so I've got to balance that around as well pasta sauce, specifically tuna and pasta bake sauce. Ouch, my wine's £10 a bottle in here. £10 a bottle. Sainsbury's have, buy six bottles of wine, get 25% off. So the other stores have to work pretty hard. But if they've got my wine cheaper, then it might work out cheaper, so we'll see. Um, I'll probably end up getting it from Sainsbury's there, but it's worth a check. Tuna and pasta bake things in the bag. I've also got notes for the ice cream and uh, deodorants. 
and also something else that I've taken a note of, but it's on my phone, so I don't need to remember it. Everyone's got really cheap biscuits. Well, I say that, Asda's got the cheapest by a country mile, but they don't taste very nice. Here, they're relatively cheap, they're like 50, 60, no, is it 69 pence, I think, for some custard creams. But they're not very nice. So is that, why have it if it's not very nice, you know what I mean? I've got a tickly nose, my hay fever tablet's run out. Right then, just went and put 45 pounds worth of petrol in. Um, this month's gonna be an expensive month. I'm fully anticipating the price of this month. Um, that petrol is not gonna last me more than two weeks um, because not next weekend, but the weekend after I'm back in Nottingham. And not only am I back in Nottingham, but from Nottingham, I'm going to Leeds, then Leeds back down to Nottingham, then all the way back again. So we're talking petrol everywhere. So um, I'm not expecting next month to be cheap in the slightest. But this month, without bragging, <laughs> I've managed to put away 300 pounds worth into savings. So we've done well. It's not even payday yet, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> YOLO. Um, next month's paying my overdrafts paying for shopping today and petrol but um yeah so we've done good we've done good saving up this month i'm very proud of myself there are two cars there were two cars parked at them lights for a long time like for the amount of time it took me to walk all the way around the roundabout that's how long they were sat there for and the reason they were sat there for so long is that one of them the one at the front wasn't far enough forward to be over like the lines that are in the road uh, so the lights had no idea the cars were there and she sat there waiting and like this other light's on green and it's just let like no one's there but it's just that's the road that are normally on green so it defaulted to letting them go green because apparently the roads are empty and she sat there like an absolute lemon <laughs> watching the oh that's funny i love stuff like that you've got to know where to park your car at lights because especially like if you're driving at night and you pull up to some lights You've got to put your car in a place where it will pick up the thing, otherwise you're never going to be let through. Um, but yeah, otherwise though, heading on here to Asda, I realised as I drove away from Tesco that it was a stupid idea putting two cans, two, um, two tins of bloody pasta sauce in your boot, isn't it? That's stupid. So um, yeah, I heard them banging around and I'm like, if I'm going to get fucking tuna and pasta baked sauce all over my boot, I'm not going to be impressed. So I'm dropping my shopping bags like a moron. Um, but yeah, so we're just getting some, we've got quite a lot to get, but we're getting, them as, we're getting as many deals as we can before we get to Sainsbury's and get the majority of it and can lose all our money. Um, but what else has been going on today? It was really good fun playing tennis uh, with the lads. I really enjoy, quite enjoy it going down there and thinking. Um, I'm not the best there at all, but it's good fun, you know, we have a bit of banter, outside of work banter as well, because obviously we all work together. But people are completely different in and out of work so it's good fun it's good fun all on then either tesco matches or beats or everything but these at the moment disappointed with the deals on offer today i am not impressed at all jesus christ but it looks like at this rate unless sainsbury's can beat them we will be going back to tesco so it's a good job it's open till eight um it's nearly six o'clock now God, i'm having a late bloody dinner tonight i was gonna have jackie potato for dinner tonight but Bloody not now, am I? I'll be eating at like midnight. It's not a bother though, it just means I get to have um, pizza a bit earlier. I'll have uh, pizza today instead of tomorrow. Jack potatoes tomorrow. We'll readjust the week. Um, but what else then? What else has been going on in our little lives? Not an awful lot, to be honest with you. Um, I wrote last night the, the gist of what I'm going to be saying over the top of the programming video that I did yesterday. Um, did that in bed with a notepad instead of Google Docs. Balls to Google Docs, mate. Um, and yeah, so it's just a case of sorting out to-do lists of things. Like, tonight isn't gonna be too busy. For example, and I've just made that line of cars stop. <laughs> it went, it was empty before it went red, so I just crossed. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, tonight I'm gonna have a relatively chilled one. I need to get rid of my Santa beard um, and some other stuff what else do i need to do admin -y kind of things i've got to start some admin i can love admin i do um and then obviously tomorrow we're back at work so we'll be looking into sorting out i don't know what will we sorting out what will we be sorting out boys um we'll be looking into sorting out stuff so that i'm ready for the week uh, i've got to do a blog might do a blog tonight um in bed with a hot chocolate Ooh, 
Oh, I'm in the mood for hot chocolate today. Bloody hell. That was quite an exhausting weekend, to be honest with you. I went tennis on Thursday, swimming Friday, swimming Sunday, tennis Monday. Bloody hell, I don't bloody well stop, do I? Um, all good news as well. Looks like Beth and Ben may be coming down to Br Bristol slash Bath on uh, Friday, which is good. Um, annoyingly, I'm at work. I need to use my Flexi for next week um, because I've got to sort out because I'm going back to Nottingham, um, like I was telling, telling you earlier. So I'm not going to be off with to spend the entire day with them. But if they're in town after work, we'll see if we can go and get a pizza or something. Um, and then chill. Sounds good to me. Um, but yeah. Right, well it's nearly six now. There's swings and roundabouts to go and shopping when I'm going shopping now. Because A, I haven't eaten yet. So I'm hungry. Or relatively hungry. Which is always bad when you go shopping hungry. Because you just buy everything. Because you're like, oh, that looks tasty. Then you buy it, even though you're not going to have it anytime soon. Um, <laughs> but, like, the place closes at 7. And on a bank holiday, they close, people think they close at 4. Which I've told you this before, is a brilliant idea if you go in after 4. Because then they're forced to knock reductions down, like, a lot further than they normally would. Because just people aren't going. I need to change the battery. It's already died on me twice and I completely forgot new battery happy days see if they've got any deals shall we am i eyeing up the wine am i eyeing up the uh other stuff oh i don't know i just don't know can't spend too long here though because i've got to go to the other one i've got to have dinner at a decent time and two i've got to have a bloody um gotta to go to tesco still so get the priorities in first boys get the priorities in first we're actually experimenting with different points yeah that one that stung a little bit that did but like last week was really was last week cheap one of the week hope next week it's gonna be it's gonna be cheap right recording laura always says that i spend way too much on food and i'm inclined to believe her um to, <laughs> to be really honest with you like i probably don't spend more than 200 pound a month on food but that's still a lot isn't it oh wait i wanted to reset my my clocks my computer clocks because i've just got petrol uh reset whichever one it is that needs to reset that one okay um yeah the i probably don't spend more than 200 pound a month it's too late to look right on it then i'd already pulled out um on food which isn't too bad but it is considering that like that's 500 pound rent 200 pound of that you're talking a considerable amount of money now on things that aren't those things like tennis and swimming uh, I mean, it's not negligible. It's about 40 quid a month. Um, plus bills, plus internet. It is quite pricey. That that came to £75. To be fair, there's a lot of stuff in there that I don't normally buy, i.e. wine. <laughs> I try to drive now as frugally as possible. I always do that. As soon as I've got, I've now got petrol, I uh, attempt to keep the mileage like down. reset the clock, no, I haven't reset the clock. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to keep the, the petrol down and the dry and drive smoothly because I've got a lot of heavy, expensive stuff in the back that's probably loving the idea of toppling over and having a nice big old rollabout. It's thinking, oh, I want to have a bit of a roll around, Jamie. Um, Jamie, uh, what are we doing? Uh, but yeah, like that was £75. Like, obviously, like I don't even want to speculate how much of that is wine. For six bottles, it was uh, two for 12 quid and then they, they were basically six bottles all at about six quid each um more or less 25 percent off of that fine food i got some i got what other things i got ice cream and stuff this time for a change because i don't really normally get ice cream um so yeah i've got a, a number of different things that i don't normally get basically and it was a bit pricey and I'm trying to justify £75 on a weekly shop and my justification for that is that next week in theory with the exception of fruit and veg I won't even have to do a shop now that's because of everything I've just got and everything that yeah in theory next next week because I'm only here <laughs> it's, only, it's only like that because I'm not even in town Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday Thursday, I can cook off batch food, batch food. Two of those are batch food meals. 
the other two can very easily also be batch fruit meals. So, in fact, yeah, one of them is tuna and pasta bake, which I'm already making from this week. Yeah, next week I won't even have to go shopping. Legit, legit won't have to go shopping. I might have to pick up sandwich stuff, that's it. That is literally it. So yeah, that's how I've just divided it. It's only five pounds, basically split across two weeks. It's cheap as chips. That's like 30, 45, 35 pounds-ish. 35 pounds-ish for two weeks a week, which is below my target. Oh, what is my target? 60 pound a week. Yeah, I've got a 60 pound a week budget. Well, yeah, plus 10 pound thingy. So this, this week I'm gonna spend Oh fuck it! It's fucking what is money, boys? What is it? I don't know. It's all it's everywhere. That's what it is. Dollars everywhere. Jeez Louise! Bloody hell, bells, boys! I'm back. That's the first time this year I have ever had to do two runs from the car to up here. Mainly because this this bastard was heavier than anything else going. So let's talk wine, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this bottle here is what I call my wine. I recommend this wine a lot. It's very, very good. It's very, very nice. However, that wasn't an offer. And if you buy six bottles, no matter what the offer is, you still get, you get 25% off. So, what I've done is I've experimented a little bit. Because the, the price of that in Asda basically was, um, there's a new line, they've just added it in, the, the price of it was essentially what it would have been to go from Sainsbury's and get six bottles. So there's no real point. So what I did instead was I got two of those ones, which are similar. Same, I don't know what the actual difference is to be honest with you between that and that. One's a state, one's classic. I got two of them because I know they're nice. Two of them because I know they're nice. Um, I then got, these all worked out cheaper with the exception of the last two. Um, that one, which is the same brand, but a different one, it's a Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, I normally only drink Merlots. You'll notice that's a Merlot. That's a Merlot. Um, but Dad recommended to me... Oh no, there's another one. Where's the third? Oh, this one. There's a Merlot. That's one I'm trying. So these two here are my two, like, to try bottles. Those two I know will be nice. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not a looking kind of syrup wine, I don't know what the difference is, they probably all taste the same to me. But Dad told me that these ones are really, really nice, which is a another cabin, Cabinot Sauvignon. Um, but these are like fucking, they're expensive, they're about £10 a bottle normally, um, but it was two for 12 quid. Are they £10 a bottle? Well, all of these wines, with the exception of that one, are about £10 a bottle normally, depending on where you go. In Tesco, they were £10 a bottle. But yeah, so I'm up to my neck in wine. Yes. The uh, first time in a while I've got ID'd actually for getting uh, drinks with the exception of being on a night out, obviously. Um, and she probably just checked my ID because she wondered how it was possible that someone as good looking and as young looking as I am could afford to start a bar. That's essentially what I'm doing. Gotta be said, right, I'm just, my pizza's cooking and I'm putting stuff away. Um, and I was putting some biscuits away and as you do, like, oh, that one's cracked, I'll just eat one of them. Um, Right? Even though you get about three times as many biscuits for your money as you do uh, if you shop, if you buy them from Asda, like Asda's own brand ones compared to Sainsbury's own brand ones. Even if you do that, yeah, three times as much, great, but it's more than three times as nice. Oh man. I remember first eating one of them Asda ones. I'm like, oh, it kind of smell, they kind of smell, they legit smell funny. Um, and then I ate, ate bit it and I'm like, oh, it only really tastes nice in tea. Um, but those ones, I just friggin' I could eat them for weeks. Maybe that's the the problem. I should buy three times as many and then make them not as good. <laughs> and then I don't scoff them all. But um, yeah, so recommended the same as ones instead, even though they're three times more expensive because they are probably that much better. So happy days, mate. Happy days. And I'm gonna call it a night there, ladies and gentlemen. It's nearly ten o'clock, and I'm gonna go to bed. I'm I'm properly like oh god tweets. Um, I'm properly friggin' absolutely pooped. <laughs> this precise moment in time. Um, I don't know what, I just feel like drained, my legs ache. Well, I guess I have been playing tennis today to be fair. Well, my legs are, do, they do feel a bit like, oh, oh, blimey, bloody hell, bloody hell mate. Oh, blimey, bloody hell. So, uh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm getting my wallet, I've got my battery so I can charge it. Um, 
But yeah, I'm going to end the video here because I'm not really doing anything. I'm just kind of having, going to have a chill down. I'm going to have a hot chocolate and I'm going to go to bed. Um, it's chilling next to my socks. Don't worry about it. Um, oh God, I'm stuck. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have a chill down. I'm going to start my daily vlog. I'm going to sort out. I'm just going to continue watching YouTube videos. And I'm going to have a shave because I've got a scraggly beard. And then we're probably going to watch... Um, Another episode of Peaky Blinders, which is what I'm currently watching on Netflix, while uh, I try to source out my laptop, which I think is in my bag still. Um, and we're just gonna like sort some stuff out, you know, you know, just get some get some stuff done. Just try and chill out, and just right down to the core for a busy, busy four day week. Oh, bloody four day! When was the last time I did a five day week? I can't bloody well remember it. Was it last time? Or was it the other? That was a bank holiday as well, wasn't it? Happy bloody birthday. I haven't done it. Because then, then I've only got... This week's a four-day week, four, four day week. The week after that is a four-day week. One after that's a one-day week. And then I've got a five-day week. Ugh. That's a lie. Because I have a flexi to flow about there, haven't I? Just for, Do I? I don't know. Maybe. I, I think I'm going the longest time possible if I'm four day weeks, so it's great. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to get going. I'm going to roll on out of it. I'm going to make myself a nice hot chocolate. I'm going to get into bed. I'm going to get all snuggled up. And I'm going to just have a bit of a chin wag. And I'm just going to be like, ah, I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, back to work tomorrow. I will catch you later.